So this is my room and currently it is a mess. So let's fix that. Today we're gonna be cleaning it, taking down my Christmas decor and even decorating it. Anyways, let's get started. So I think the first thing I'm gonna take action of definitely has to be all of the mess on my floor. There's just so much random stuff. I've got a whole random keycap set, tons of wrapping and packaging from all videos I've made. I've even got my mouse pad on the floor instead of on my desk, I don't know why. Ugh, I have to jump over everything as well. These are all products as well as these I haven't done. I've got my boy Elmo over here. I've even got my label printer for vision pads, monitors, but like I think you guys get the point and I just want to clean it all because it feels gross to work in. However, you're probably wondering, if you think it's so gross, why haven't you cleaned it? Why haven't you cleaned it? Well, first of all, I've been working on videos every day for my Techmas series. And I've also had functions here for like Christmas and everything. So my entire room is a mess. So let's get cleaning. All right. <sighs> first, let's clean all of this mess off the floor. It doesn't end. I'm gonna make a little pile and then I'll get a bag after. And just so you guys know, my room never gets this dirty. It's just everything happening with Christmas and New Year. It's the most busiest time of the year. And I just haven't had the time to clean my room yet. So yeah, it finally feels good to clean my room and also make a video for YouTube. And also just so you know, if the New Year coming, I wanna start being more consistent with videos at least once every one to two weeks. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up and continue cleaning the room. Right, that's it for all plastic bags and everything. So I'm gonna get a plastic bag from downstairs and put it all in there and take it to the trash. Ah, got my bin. So let's start packing all this stuff in the bin. That is one full bin. Let's take this to the trash. And there we have one section of the room done. Now we have to clean the rest of the floor. Next I'll probably do all of these mouse pads. Now I have all my mouse pads, so I have to roll them all up and put them in my drawer. So let's start that process. I'm pretty used to rolling up mouse pads as I had to do it for my entire brand. By the way, if you did order a mouse pad, I do appreciate it. And we also did just open again for um, pre-orders. And with that, we also have a new collection, which is our secure collection. Just for clarification, this video was recorded like January. I don't know, I've just been lazy and kind of busy with school to edit this video. So the Sakura collection isn't actually the most recent drop. So we've got the new Gradient Topo as the newest collection. So if you want to check out the new Gradient Topo collection, the link will be in my bio. Anyways, let's go back to the video. Oh yeah, the Sakura collection is really nice. Personally, I love them. We're really trying to improve our designs after every new restock. And yeah, really happy with how the Sakura collection came out. So if you want to buy one while it's on pre-order, make sure to visit visionpads.com. I'll make sure to have the link in the description. Anyways, let's get back onto the video. So yeah, I've got these three rolled up and now I've just got one more left. My crappy little HyperX one. Not biased at all. Is this mouse pad waterproof? Nope. Has this mouse pad got nice designs? Nope. Was I an idiot when I bought it? Yep. And there we go, all the mouse pads are done. So let's put them in my drawers. Mm. Then we open the drawer underneath it. And boom. I've got um, a webcam and then I've got pieces of this box for a keyboard. So I'm probably going to get the keyboard and put it in this box and put it away because I hate just having boxes laying around. So I got the keyboard here from my keyboard drawer and now let's put it in the box. Wait, before we do, let's get a little sound test. Oh yeah, free promo. All right, let's put that in. And boom. And then we hit another little boom. There we go. So now I'm just going to put all this stuff in the in the cupboard. Oh my, I need to clean that as well. But just for now, I'll put that in the cupboard as well as this webcam. And the rest of the stuff under the Christmas tree is stuff I didn't get to finish for 12th as a tech miss as I was busy with the mouse pad business. So I'll have to make those videos another time. But with all these packages I haven't reviewed yet, I'm gonna make a little section next to my gaming desk. So it's all in one pile and I know what I'm doing. So let's keep cleaning the floor and then I can make that pile. This is another thing for the label printer. Mm. Next up, I wanna move this chair, but I'm gonna take those to my room. Right now for this final pile on the floor. I have this box which I need to cut up and put in the trash. So yeah, let's clean all this mess. Got my trash can, I'll put that to the side for a second. Put that to the side as well. I've got um tennis rackets, don't ask why. Um, it was just for a TikTok video. Anyways, 
And then we've got the label printer. So I need to put away. I've got this little whiteboard cleaner for my whiteboard. Oh shit. So let me just put that away. I'm now realizing pretty much all of this stuff needs to go in my cupboard, but my cupboard is filled with all Christmas boxes. So I think the best idea is to probably pack all the Christmas stuff first and take all those boxes downstairs so I can create some space in my cupboard. So first up, I have the cardboard box to these stars up here. So let's go take them down. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to take all the screws out of all these light up things so they don't rust. So now we can put these stars in the box. And that tidy is one part of the cupboard. And now we just put this in the box. Almost there. Mm, get in. Now let's close this up. All right, one part done. Let's put this to the side. Now I'm gonna take down all of this stuff on top of the shelf. And I got the box from downstairs to put it all in. So let's start taking everything down. Oh, well, I feel tall. I'm scared there's gonna be spiders in here. Living in Australia, there is tons of spiders. Ugh. Got the tree. And there's everything off the shelf. Next up, let's take everything off the pegboard. Well, all the Christmas stuff. That is just these two things. One thing down. And the sleigh ride sign. And that's all gone. It is sad to see all the Christmas stuff go, as Christmas is my favorite time of the year, but sometimes it does kind of feel cluttered in the room. So I guess I enjoy tidying up the room and making it less messy. Let's take off this crit, oh, tree. Now let's take everything out of this section. We've got the bow. A little nutcracker. It turns out 95.4% of you guys watching are not subscribed. So, subscribe. I mean, personally, I would Subscribe. Let's take down this little tree. And I also gotta take off the pot because that was originally to one of my plants. Last off, we gotta take these lights off the broom arm. And there we go. And these can go in the pile. This little cube shelf wraps up the rest of the decorations and the rest is just the tree and the ornaments. So let's start with taking it all off. And there's a candy cane wrapper, interesting. I did buy the cube shelf to decorate the room for Christmas and now I don't really think I have a lot of stuff to decorate it so I'll probably have to buy some stuff for my room or move some stuff around to accommodate for the cube shelf but back to taking everything off and lastly we have my little wooden Christmas thing now we need to start packing everything in the box so I'm gonna start off these little boxes and then we got these little present boxes So there we go, there's all of the Christmas decorations. I'm actually surprised all the extra stuff fit in there. Considering we had decorations for all of that and my entire setup. But let me just quickly take this downstairs. I've been sitting here for the past about like 30 minutes just on my phone. I don't know, it's been procrastinating taking this big tree down. And then I also have to take down all of the lights. But I'm gonna push myself to take it all down because the quicker I do it, the quicker everything is going to be done. So, let's go take down the tree. Alright, so all the lights and ornaments are off the tree. So now let's take off the tree skirt. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of scared to take off the tree skirt. Because there's been a couple of times I've seen spiders under here. Like, I'm not trying to get bitten by a spider because, you know, spiders in Australia are venomous, deadly. But if a spider does bite me, I'm gonna have to bite back. I'm gonna dust this all onto the floor because I'm gonna vacuum it all later. And I don't want all this dust on it for next year. Alright, so now this is all tucked nice and tightly into the box, ready for the tree. And this pot isn't too hard, it's just taking apart the three pieces and just squashing it into the box. Let's squash this one in as well. We have to take off these little screws because that's what's holding it in place. 
There we go. And now for this last piece. I'm gonna push all these pieces down because those will stick out. But now let's try and get this last piece into the box. <clears throat> I think that works right. Oh, I almost forgot the wreath. All the Christmas decorations are gone. But the last thing left to do now is these lights. So uh, wish me luck, because they go all around the room. When I put these up, I really should have thought of taking them down. Oh well. Alright, so I've got the lights down, and it was an extension of two packets, so they're in two. So let's put them in both of the boxes. There's one box done. There we go, both of the boxes done. So you probably saw that I had double sided tape holding the lights up and that was stuck to the wall. So I had to take all of that off and the stickiness wasn't coming away. So I had to rub every single one off and I've got blisters on pretty much every finger. Well, finally after about two hours, it's all done. Now, unfortunately I did actually rip off the paint when taking some of them off. Anyways, the room is still pretty much a mess. Now what I'm gonna do is clean all of the stuff off the floor. So I got the vacuum here and let's go. The room feels so nice, I can just like... Anyways, it's pretty late, in case you couldn't tell, it's dark outside, and right now it is 1.05 a.m. But anyways, I'll pick this back up tomorrow. It's a new day, new morning of cleaning my room. So let's get into day two. The vacuum's out of the room and now what I think I wanna do is, I wanna grab all my stuff I haven't unboxed and I've got a little pile I'm either gonna do here, next to my setup, or to the right of this unit in the corner. So in the pile I had, my keyboard but for the moment i'm using a different keyboard so i might either put this on display on my shelf i'll make a little collection on the shelf of all the stuff i think i might add on there and i can sort it out later but hold up hold up hold up before i put anything on this shelf let me just show you how dirty this is oh my god so i think it's probably best if i give this a wipe down first So as you can see, I'm in my bedroom right now, which is where all my shoes are. And I thought it would be cool if I grabbed one of my pairs and put it on my shelf. And I think these would be the coolest in my room. These are the Jordan 1 Uncle Blues, and yeah, they're going to my setup. I found a spare LED strip, so I'm going to be putting it behind the cube shelf. Here's how the cube shelf came out. Let me take you on a quick rundown. On top of here, we have my Yonzi YZ75. Everybody loves this keyboard and always comments on it. So yeah, it's the Yonzi YZ75. I'll put the link in my bio. Next up, we have a little, uh, what's it called? Oil diffuser. I don't know, something like that. And over here, we have the Davoon Pixu 64. It's not currently plugged in as there's no more plugs left, but I'll try to find one. But then behind that, we have a little IKEA plant. And then when you go underneath, we have these fake ass Apple Air Maxes that don't even work. And then to the left is my, um, I think this is Yonzi. I don't know. But yeah, clear keyboard. Then underneath that, we have a little Funko Pop. Then next to that, I have a little Ikea plant. But then lastly to the right, we have the Jordan ones. But yeah, that completes the uh, cube unit. Next up, I have this little uh, floodlight. And I want to put it in that corner over there to, you know, add some light to that corner. And then we can plug this in. Mmm. Let me just turn these lights off real quick so you can get a better view on how it looks. Yo, looking nice. Let's play around with the colors a bit. The purple's kind of cool. Here's how it looks, and I think that looks amazing. Ooh, look at that.
So uh, it's been a few days and I wasn't planning on recording right now, but um, but in case you guys didn't know, in Australia right now it's summer and um, just look at this. It's currently raining. Oh yeah. But anyways, continuing to my story, my house just had an internet outage. So um, my Discord got off. I was about to play Valorant and all the lights have turned off. So I guess I can use this time to stop being lazy and clean this room. All right, so next up, I just wanna clean and work on the setup. So first up, let's just clean it. So now for the setup being all clean, it's time to decorate the shelf up here. So up here, I got, ugh, I got this little Kors Elmo. And then on top of here, I just have some random product. Ugh. This is um, earphones from Angry Meow. So uh, yeah, shout out Angry Meow. So I have a couple ideas on what I'm gonna put up here. So obviously I have Elmo, but then in my cupboard, I have a couple artworks of um, like Jordans and they're in frames. So um, I might put them up here. So those are the four artworks we have. I don't know which one I'm gonna choose yet, but um, I don't know, we'll see. Now let's decorate the shelf. The shelf is complete, so let me show you guys. Yeah, yesterday I did the shelf up here. I think it looks pretty cool. So I had a plan to put two puck lights on these sides of the shelf so they can glow down on the pegboard. And then I thought if I was going to get puck lights, so I was thinking if I'm going to get puck lights, I may as well get another four for the cube shelf. So I think I'm just going to try to find a six pack of Amazon and order one right now. All right, so my phone is flat. Let's go. We are back and the phone is slightly charged. So anyways, back to what I was doing. Go to Amazon. Yeah. Now we just find a pair, and there we go. 22 bucks, six pack. Seems like a pretty good deal to me. And we just buy now. Oh shit, that's my address. Wait. Now we wait for it to come. Anyways, now with the setup being cleaned, I think you can tell there's one thing left we have to do. And that is change all the lights from Christmas theme. So let's change it to a new scheme. So to start off, we're gonna change the lights on the shelf and the floodlight. And I'm still not quite sure what color we're gonna do. I'm thinking of doing something different, maybe a more sort of neutral, like orange or something. We've got the controller. Actually, you can barely see the lights, so I'm gonna turn these soft boxes off. Now we can see better. Mm. All right, let's start off that. Next up, we have both of these lights. Now, these are controlled to my phone, so, um... We've got this one. Yeah, that looks fine. Now for the hexagon panels. All right, we've got that. So this background is all set. I'm pretty sure all of this is set up by my phone. Um... Now, last but not least... Now, last but not least is the color light triangles. Now, let's change these wallpapers. Oh, there we go. I'd say the setup looks pretty cool in orange. Here's how this wall looks. Not too bad, looking nice and cozy. <laughs> Dead. My package is here. I'm back and my microphone is charged and all the park lights are ready. So now with this being done and with that being done, you know what that means? This video is finally done. Anyways, just like we end every single video, cue the music and cue the montage.
tell you pretty lies.